I want to reiterate that I am only speaking to the real. There are far too many unreal out there, and I know that's very difficult to fathom, very difficult to believe, but that is the truth. That is the case. A lot of people around you, they seem very real. That's the point. They have stolen the fire. Prometheus has put the fire of the truth within them. That's why they seem real. It's like a mock of the heart. That's the point that I'm trying to get across. I know that seems implausible, but that is the case. So that's why I'm only trying to reach the real. Look at how much a drop of passion stirred up so many. That was a drop. That is nothing of what is to come. When the street revelations come forth. And a lot of the commenters on here are putting words into my mouth, things that I have not said at all, ever. This walk is a real walk. It's about demonstrating that you are ready to walk away from the false crown. I am going to start the walk on my own. That's the only part that's going to be alone, is the first part. When I start walking, when I said the impossible will be seen, that's a fact. The entire world is going to see the impossible happen. And then I will make many, many statements, many revelations will come forward and the opportunity will be presented to everyone in the world to join me on this walk if they are ready to leave hell. This is hell. This is death's system. This is the crown of death. Just as I said, there are two crowns. The crown of the head, mind, brain, which is the crown of death, or the crown of the heart, which is the crown of life. That's it. So in the very near future... Everyone is going to have to make a choice about which crown they believe in. It's about belief. And the crown of the heart requires an actual demonstration. That's what was meant by you can't just tomb a ride home. You're in the system of death. You're wearing a costume. You're wearing the devil's suit right now. A lot of people enjoy this devil suit and its vacuous pleasures. That's not up to me to fix that in you. I'm only bringing you the message. And a, and a lot of you do not like the message. And it's very apparent that many of you do not, do not like passion at all. That's just a fact. This system wants you to be calm. It wants you, as I said before, to be zenned out, zoned out, watching TV, just doing very little actual work within yourself that matters. When you are passionate for the truth, I mean truly passionate. That's what that sounds like. That was a drop in the ocean of what's in me. A drop. That's what I want to get to. I'm going to reiterate again. It's about the devil's tells. And there's one comment, one commenter, under the name Joker in the Deck. It's a tell. The Joker in the Deck. Satan in the deck, the devil in the deck. 
Chiron, I seriously, seriously is spelled like the serious dog star. I seriously hope this is your passion at about a 2 out of 10, or you're going to fucking lose. Do you hear me, son? It's a tell. As I mentioned in yesterday's talk, there is very much a bet, because this is about two visions. I'm going to get into the reason exactly why it's about two visions, or some of the symbols that have been shown, some of the slaps in the face that have been shown to everyone. And he says, do you hear me, son? Because the devil sees us all as his children. Saturn eats his children. Well, Joker in the deck, Mr. Satan in the deck, I'm not your son. What a mockery. What a joke. But you say it. It's in your name. You're the Joker. You don't take anything seriously. So you're a representative or a minion of the devil himself. You're saying it right there in your name. Joker in the deck. And please, please feel free to make your mocking comments on this presentation, on this talk. Come back. You're very welcome. I'll say this as another point of fact. When I walk, and what I represent is going to be hated by many in this world because there are many lovers of the devil's system. And so a lot of you who hate my passion and hate the message that this system is going to be over, its time is up. You'll be able to find me on the highway. You can walk right up to me and spit in my face. That's probably going to happen quite a lot. That's what I'm telling the real. This is what we're dealing with. This is the devil's operation, the devil's vision. That's where we are. And we're on the upper echelon, as I, as I said before, the upper echelon of hell. So on the upper echelon... This is where God, our true creator, makes too many attempts to count to try to correct the vision. Because the joker, the devil, has turned this into a sick, sadistic, and twisted game. That's why it's a bet as well what's going to happen that's why, yeah, the Joker in the deck, hope your passion is at a, about a 2 out of 10 with this talk, or you're going to fucking lose the bet. Of course, he knows about the bet. He's the Joker or a minion of the Joker. Please, as I said, Mr. Devil in the deck, the one who makes the deals on the deck, come back. I know you don't like being called out. You don't like being noticed or pointed out. I'm not cutting you down. I'm not insulting you. I'm just talking about what you wrote here. That's all that's happening right now. I hope people can see this. It's a tell. He just stated it. And it's a bet. That's what all in means. Because the house of the heart is on the line. Eternity is on the line. And the bets have been made. The devil has made his bets, and our true creator has also made a bet, which is all in. You probably can hear, yeah, I'm... I'm homeless now, so yeah, there's there's a lot of street noise. Uh, so there is an ambulance there. So that's what I'm contending with as well, making uh, 
these presentations. It's a lot more difficult to do these things when you're homeless. That's just a fact. And as I said, I have a little bit more time to utilize the devil's tools. That's what these tools are, these pieces of technology. These are the de- devel developments of the devil. It's all in the language, as always. So, instead of just utilizing these tools for my entertainment, I took it seriously. This is an opportunity. This is the way, obviously, I've always looked at it for years and years. Right from the beginning. My goodness. Here's a key. A key. In the English language, the language written by the angels, in case anyone didn't figure that out, God's angels were allowed to write one language and bring it to us to see if any, any of us could listen in the dark, if you will. Hear the phonetics, hear the tells in the whole golden web. They're telling us about this black spider death system. That should be obvious. That's in all the previous works. And obviously there are far too many examples to mention. And to be very honest, I could have made about a hundred golden webs just with what I personally have written. But that, I just do not have the time to do that. And the point of giving everyone the key was so that you could also do the same thing yourself. Everything has been freely given. I've always done things from my heart. Always. And my passion is against evil. It's not against any of you individually that are real. I don't understand why anyone would be offended by me being passionate about wanting to be rid of evil and to get out of hell. How can you not be passionate about that? You're just going to be zoned out in front of a TV for the rest of your life? Do you think that's a life? I'm asking that. I'm not mocking or making fun of you. It's a legitimate question. Do you believe that's any kind of life for anyone? Look at some people. They're watching a TV. They're scrolling on their phone and they have a tablet going at the same time. Screens on screens on screens. And then if any of these people have children, they're training them to do the same thing right from the earliest age. This is the height? Is that the height of what should be? So no, this is about two visions, two crowns, God versus the devil, good versus evil. And so right now, this is where the top level is of hell and the lowest level of heaven is where the playing field is leveled. That's what this is about. And of course, one of the symbols that demonstrates that is in Canada when Justin Trudeau was getting elected for the first time. One of his promises was to legalize weed. And everyone refers to this as 420, 420 day. So celebrated... April 20th every year now. Why 420? Well, because it's about weeding out the visions. Get it? It's a tell. Weed out the visions who believe in the heart and the ones who believe in the crown of the mind or the devil. So 420s is 2020 versus another 2020. The devil's idea of a perfect vision and God's 
version of a perfect vision, which is the heart. And of course, the heart is the actual perfect vision, and the devil's vision is a debauchery. It's a Frankenstein. It's horrendous. It's the vision that destroys everything on the earth. Look around. It's all about taking and destroying non-stop. That's why it's a cancer system. That's why the coronavirus was a tell. It's the virus crown virus of the mind. The mind is the virus. I very much hope you get that. Very much. My intention to help has always been sincere. And some of you have heard a drop of my passion that I'm going to bring forth because this is a war. Everything is on the line. What's difficult to discern about this? Your eternal spirit is on the line. And you're not going to be passionate about that? Really? I mean, really look into yourself and ask, ask why you wouldn't be passionate to the umpteenth degree about that. Your eternal spirit you're either going to be for the crown of death which is the devil system or you're going to choose the crown of the heart and that's what I represent I'm not hiding that that's what the walk is about you are going to see the impossible happen and if you don't then you can forget every last one of these messages that I've brought forth, that I've spent so much time and effort on. And I have. I've poured an intensity into bringing these works freely to everyone. I've poured my heart into this. And when I bring an ounce of passion against the evil of this system and what it does to everyone... You hate me. You want to bring the worst ad hominem insults. I never insulted anyone personally. I never said, you did that. I used the word you as a generalization. I never called anyone personally out. This system takes every one of us down in different degrees and in different ways. I use the word you as a referential point of generalization. It's not that I'm attacking anyone. I'm attacking evil. That should be obvious. I thought that was obvious. Apparently, it's not. So that's why I'm telling everyone right now. And look, the first attempt at showing you a fraction of the passion that I'm going to bring on this walk. And so many of you are just ready to hate me. Almost ready to crucify me already. And then, yes, oh, he's propping himself up as Jesus. You're not comprehending what this is about. Look at Dante's Divine Comedy. Abandon all hope, all ye who enter here. We are in hell. There are no outside saviors. What do you think has to happen then? If we want to get out of hell, someone has to agree to pay the price. Are you getting it? Who's willing to pay the price? So that's, that's exactly why 
I'm doing the walk. It's been an agreement. Not a devil's deal that I wanted. I want out of hell, and I'm willing to do anything, anything for that, and for anyone, anyone else who wants out of hell as well. You're not comprehending why I know what I know. You're not understanding the burden, the burden that I have taken on because there is no outside savior. Someone in hell has to step up and pay an impossible price. You believe in Jesus that died on the cross. Why is hell, if that price was paid, why is hell still here? You can't prepay something. All of you who believe in that, it's, it's as if you're saying the price was prepaid. That doesn't make any sense at all. Not at all. So no, it's about paying the price up to this point. Unfathomable. An, an impossible price. That's the bet, too. So as I said, if you people don't see the impossible in the near future, then you can forget about everything that I've brought forth. Absolutely everything. Go ahead and say that I've gone mad all these insults that you're now bringing because you've heard an ounce of passion from me. You're just ready, so many of you, to throw me under the bus immediately. It's astounding. I can't even believe it. How much heart and effort I've poured in over the years and some of your comments. This is not the same person Yeah, my my voice over the years has, has changed. That's what happens when you get older in this decrepit meat suit. It, see, more sirens. So lots of stuff obviously happening outside right now. There's a fire truck right there. Yeah, the house is on fire. That was a good symbol that just drove by. And that's the thing. The earth is on its last leg. This is another symbol that just slapped everyone in the face years ago. So Internet Explorer, everyone saw that as a Saturn symbol, a Saturnian symbol. It had the letter E with the ring of Saturn around it. Well, why is it E? Everyone would say, well, because of Explorer. No, it's related more to a gas tank. It's on E. It's empty. Because the earth is the heart, which is the sun, and a sun is a gaseous object. I hope everyone gets that. So it only has so much gas, and then it hits E. And then that's that. Look at the resource depletion that is happening. That should just be obvious. Look in the southern states and at the aquifers. Farmers in California, as an example, or places like Nevada, these these places are just drying up. The lakes, the rivers, the Colorado River hasn't reached the ocean in how many years now? Look at the deforestation, not just in the Amazon, but in Every area that has forests, it's just being chopped down monstrously by the second. And of course, the siphoning of oil and uh, natural gas. 
It's astounding, astounding how much is being pulled out. And people think that that's going to last forever, that kind of resource depletion. No, it's a cancer system. That's what cancer does even in this physical body. It keeps taking and taking and taking, and then there's nothing left and the person dies. This is the same thing. This is the macrocosm of what people know as cancer in the microcosm of their body. The real basis for the coronavirus. I really, really hope that this is being understood. That's what taking in the wrong vision has implemented inside of each of us. It's turned us into that. It's turned us into a taker, a consumer. It's crowned us with the vision of death. That's what death is. Death is not a good thing. So many people say that you need death to make life. That's just as false as it gets. You don't need death to create life. Death takes life. That's, that's it. The end. Death is death. It doesn't give life. It takes it. It's the spirit, the heart, that's giving life all this time. That's what it's doing the entire time. It's trying to correct the vision. It's giving life to the earth. Our true, eternal father and mother, our actual creators. Not the devil, who's a thief. He's a nihilist. He's a clown. That's what the devil is. He's evil. He's a taker. He's a consumer. He's the vacuum, the black hole son. The one who eats his children in his cancer system. So that's what that means. That's what this is about. I'm not hiding anything. I also see some of you think I'm hiding things. I haven't hidden anything. I haven't been cryptic. I've told everyone outright exactly what all of this is about. Exactly. Just, I'm going to go back to the walk. It's so important. I said I was going to talk more about it. So many of you think this is about walking alone, and then that's the way out. No, that's more aspects of what this system wants you to believe, to stay alone and isolated, just like the quarantine. It's a form of torture. No, the heart isn't about being alone. It's about being together. It's about love. Of course it is. It's about gathering in kindness. Absolutely. I would hope that many of you that are real have felt that in my heart over the years. How much I've poured into my efforts to bring these messages to to everyone in the hopes that it would help. That was always my intention. And then when I get passionate against evil and what it does to change people, you want to literally destroy me. My passion is against this system, not against you as individuals that are real. So this walk is a walk with a directive. And yes, I will be calling out to everyone who is ready to walk away from it all. And yes, that means actually physically walking away from what you now call your home. There are so many aspects to it. 
that will be explained while I'm out there. But I'm bringing the message of what's to come well in advance, but it's soon to come nonetheless. So when it happens, and those who don't believe right now that it's going to, you're going to be gobsmacked when it actually happens. Because you've been told in advance, quite a lot in advance. And you're going to realize that's what vision is also all about. It's about seeing far, far, far in advance. So... If one isn't ready to walk away from it all, because you can't have it both ways. You can't say, I believe in the heart, but I'm going to stay rooted in the kingdom of hell and its ideas. I'm going to still stay sitting on my couch and watch some TV tonight while the walk is happening. And I'll just continue to do that the whole time. Go to my job Well, there's not going to be really jobs at this time. Everything's going to change. That's the other thing. As I said, the spirit shuts off the taps. That's what's going to happen. So no more resources. Food won't grow out of the ground. It's the spirit. It's our true creators providing all of that life right now. That's the crown of the heart while they're working on correcting the vision and thus creating this impossible opportunity that has happened. The impossible has been done. So, at this time, it's about getting rid of Satan's system, obviously. The tables have turned. The true vision is coming back. That's what was always said. I'm just reiterating what I've always said. A true vision of the heart, seeing with your heart, is coming back. And there is a slim, slim window of opportunity for those who are ready and willing to take it to walk towards the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of the heart. But in this time to come, the taps will be shut off because the tables have turned. It's no longer about supporting the devil system. So everyone, literally everyone in the world has the same opportunity. We're over 8 billion people. If 8 billion people want to believe in the heart, then 8 billion people can go on the walk and enter into the kingdom of heaven. But that's not going to be the case. Look at what happened with the vaccine. Far, far, far more believers in Satan's crown, in the crown of death, and the way that he has set things up on the earth, on the heart. So a lot of you are getting angry. Well, what about... These people, what about my grandparents or whatever, or whoever? Everyone has the same opportunity. Everyone. The weak, the crippled. Everyone. Well, and then you ask, how are they going to walk? You have to believe in the impossible. Impossible things will be done. That's what the vision of the heart is capable of, doing the impossible. But you can't believe that until you see it. I get that. So that's why I'm speaking about it now, so you can be gobsmacked when it actually happens, because you've been told in advance. So the walk is legitimate, and as I said In yesterday's talk, I am the key, the key to the kingdom. But there's another half, and this bet has created a circumstance where 
It's not a walk together. So the king doesn't walk with the queen, if you will. I'm the key, she's the door. It's not the earth. Some of you are putting words into my mouth. I didn't say that she is the earth. She is someone who is wearing a flesh meat suit, just like I am right now. So the queen, just like in chess, is by far the more powerful piece. And that's exactly what the symbol meant at the beginning of the quarantine. We're all in this to get her. That's evil making a statement. They do not want her to reach me because this is about being separated at first and then her doing an impossible journey in the dark when the sun and moon fall from the sky. That's what happens because it's about the true light coming back home, the heart. So those two lights in the sky that everyone is used to, the sun and the moon, those are the false lights of Lucifer's system. So in that moment when they fall from the sky, then she needs to literally reach me across a distance as vast as an ocean. And when I said that those who believe in the crown of Satan and the mind as opposed to the heart get the heart taken away from them, what did they turn into? I said it outright. It's been a tell. Yes, they turn into actual zombies. The television entertainment programs have been telling you. It's a tell. That's what's to come. That's, that's his crown. That's his vision. Just like the spirit shuts off the taps for the resources, it shuts off the taps for those who do not believe in the heart. Well, if you don't believe in the heart, it gets taken away. You will no longer have a heart. And then they become the walking dead, just like that show. It's a zombie apocalypse. And I know how unfathomable that sounds. But that's the point. You are, you're in a system of hell and things like this, things like this to come, that's, that's what happens at these points in time. None of those movies and shows have been designed for your pleasure and entertainment, as I said. That's not been the point. You haven't been smacked across the face over and over again with 10,000 apocalyptic scenario shows and movies because it was fun for Hollywood to make. This is the devil's vision. He's been telling you. This is his tale. It's the end of the tale, the Ouroboros. It's time. Time's up. Tick tock. Yeah, even in the apps. You know, these social media apps. Just slapping people in the face. It's, it's unbelievable how obvious all this stuff is. It's just right there in front of everyone. And hardly anyone's paying attention to it or just thinking it's meaningless. So that's what I'm calling out for is that anyone who is willing to help her when the time comes and be a lighthouse and in, in the time to come, in the near future, I'm going to talk about the direction of the walk. It's, 
It's the reason why I said that. Preppers, you had it right in one way, but just for the wrong reasons. There's not going to be some kind of monetary collapse, let's say, of the economy. And then after a couple of years, everything just comes up rosy and you can just rebuild again. No, that's not how this is. And this is not spreading fear. This is just bringing you the truth of what's to come. This is the end of the era. The final act, as I said. The two visions head off. The bets have been laid down on the table. Both sides are all in in their own right, in their own way. The devil is all in for his system to continue. And our true creators are all in for the return of the true hearts back into the kingdom of heaven where we belong, where we are free, where we are not a slave anymore. That's exactly why this is a toilet system. We toil for it. And it's the shittiest place ever. As I said, I don't understand how anyone can believe in this place at all. This is horrendous. And this is the best. This is the best of the best of hell's vision and system. Right now. Right where you are. My goodness. What are the lower realms like? Can you imagine? Well, that's, that's why you can't imagine, because it makes sure that you don't remember where you came from during each reincarnation, because it is horrendous. It doesn't want you remembering that. It wants you to have a complete memory wipe so that you think this is all there is to hell's system. And that's not the case at all. So, as I said about the preppers, you had it right in one way, but it's about this time and what needs to be done to protect her. Think of it like chess, as I said. She's the queen piece, the most powerful piece, but they're all in it to get her We're in this together to get her. All the zombies, the the army of Satan and his dead. Exactly, his dead, his grotesque beasts that have no heart. That took up only the crown of the mind and his brain. So, yeah, it's like the Matrix. You're going to need a lot of guns. And I'm not violent. But when, when it's necessary in a war where everything is on the line, it, your eternal spirit and the potential for getting out of hell is on the line with this opportunity that has been created. But it's a dark scenario. It's as dark as it gets. And it's going to be in the dark, literally. As I said, those two false lights fall from the sky. That's, that's the inevitable result. That happens a few years after the walk starts. So, all those who are real and are willing to stay behind and not get the mark of the beast, that's going to be important. You can't get the mark. You're going to have to prep. See, that's why the prep is important. You're going to need several years of food to survive because all the grocery stores, your job, everything is going to disappear. You're not going to have access to anything. 
No gas. You're going to need gas. Some stabilizer for that gas to last several years. All these, all the things of the prepper system. You, you guys, you had it right in one way, but it's for this moment. That's the real reason. Heaven is on the line. Not just staying in hell system so you can rebuild your house in hell and have a, another banking system with a mortgage again or whatever. No, it's literally heaven is on the line. So I hope those who have prep are listening because this time is to come. And those who are not interested in staying behind in that way to protect her, but you're still for the kingdom of the heart and want want the opportunity, then you'll have to walk with me. That's why I said this is about two choices. So I get it. I'm I'm not violent. I don't shoot guns and all these things. So that's that's my side of things is is I my sword is my words. That's you heard a a, a small little morsel of that yesterday. That's why the anagram of sword is words. That's what I bring against the world. I bring my words and they cut deep because I'm going to bring the whole revelation. And many of you listening are going to be shocked because it's not nice. And there are things that I haven't said on here, but there's a reason I need to not say them yet. Because the revelation, the total revelation is for the whole world, not just the ones who have found this channel. You can't take offense to that or think I'm some kind of gatekeeper. This is about eternity. The forces involved, there's no, none of you, that's, it's not an offense when I say none of you have any idea the immensity of the forces involved. That's just a fact. Just that's what I mean. Leave your ego aside just for a second and just admit, yes, I don't know. It's unfathomable. That's okay to admit that. And you know, the other thing too, it's okay to be terrified. I'm going to admit what's to come is scary. It is I'm not a spreader of fear, but I'm not going to hold back the truth of what is to come either. That that would be absurd to do that. How could I possibly, possibly live with myself if I hid the truth of what's to come just because it's scary and because some of the commenters are saying that I'm a spreader of fear now? This is the end, and the end has a severity of consequences that no one has comprehended. Even Hollywood, those depictions in the movie, that's not even close to the immensity. It's, I'm pleading, I'm pleading with those who are prepared to, you have to consider this. You have to. And if you're all in for the heart and you stay behind, that's what it's going to mean. And it's going to mean protecting her. She is the door to the kingdom of eternity. And she has to reach the key. That's the bet. That's why the devil has split it apart to make it essentially impossible. A literal ocean of distance in the dark. I think you can comprehend in his sadistic 
and sick way of doing things, why he would get off on doing something like that. And why it's essentially an impossible bet. And that's why I say the impossible is possible. I have to believe there's no other option. The only other option to lose the bet is to go back into hell. That's the other option. That's why it's not an option. Why do you think I'm just being so forward with all this? Why do you think you heard that drop of passion yesterday? The level of seriousness. What's on the line? Incomprehensible. It's incomprehensible. I know those of you who are real, you've, you've felt it. You are feeling it. Everything is wrong here, and you feel it right in your bones, in, in the deepest recesses of your being that this is it. You're feeling it. You've probably felt it for a while. It's not about spreading fear. Good versus evil. And then there's those who say, it sounds like more duality. Oh my goodness. This system is the dualistic system and we're caught in it. The heart has no dualities. The heart is choiceless. It just always does what is necessary and it never gives up. It's always all in. And it is good. But when everything's getting destroyed, you see the the earth and the heart getting absolutely ravaged. Do you think the heart just sits back and smiles? And meditates? Really? I, I mean, ask yourself, do you think the heart just does that as it sees everything just get annihilated? Where's your heart? You would never do that if you saw someone getting ravaged in the streets. Like just getting tortured. You would just watch and smile as if you were being entertained? That wouldn't bother you. The passion of your heart wouldn't come out in that moment? Is that what you're saying? I'm asking, is that what you're saying? And so many of you just heard the tiniest, tiniest little bit of passion from me about everything wrong in this place. And you're ready to stab me in the back. Say that I've lost it. This isn't the same person. It's just, it's sad. It's just so sad to me. You know, it's another thing that breaks my heart. You know, it's, you, you can't imagine, you can't imagine the pain. Some of you can. I know that. The real, the ones who have had their heart broken. But those who mock and ridicule the passion of the heart. That's why I ask, where is your heart? Is that what you do? You see the worst happening to someone. And you believe in that? Some of you have asked. I'm going to answer this question right now. A lot of you have asked over the years. Do I eat meat? No, I do not eat meat. Meat is murder meat. It's a slaughter system. Slaughter is the laughter of its sick system. That's obviously slaughter. Slaughter. And look what it does to all these animals. Billions and billions of animals 
just literally getting slaughtered and tortured. Murder meat. And then it wants you to just not care, not have any heart for that. And just say, yum, yum, it tastes good. That's all that matters to me is the taste. So no, I'll eat a peanut butter sandwich instead. That's fine with me. I'll have an apple and some water and I'm good. I don't need to eat the blood flesh, the murder flesh of a helpless animal who only wanted to be loved. And those of you who say, look at nature, it's so violent, and other animals kill each other, that's because the wrong vision was put into the heart, which includes those animals too. With the correct vision back in place, those animals would be as gentle as little kittens. Every last one of them, you could go up to a lion and give it a hug. So because of a misunderstanding or a, an ignorance towards what vision actually is, those examples are given as if there's the proof of why the earth, which is the heart, isn't good. No, it's about the earth, the heart, the son of our true creator being stolen by Lucifer and hacked by a butcher into infinite amounts of pieces and tossed into these prison cell suits to act as slaves for its system so that it could build its cancer vision. So, I'm going to go back to my pleading for help from, from those who have prepped. If you have prepped and you're willing to stay behind for several years, no access to anything, while so many get the mark, and then everything goes dark, are you willing to do what is necessary to protect the one who will bring forth the opportunity, the gateway for everyone, everyone who believes in the heart to enter the truth, to enter the kingdom of heaven and to be free once and for all forever, forever. That's what I'm asking. That's what I'm bringing forward today. So really, really go into that inside of yourselves. I know that so much of this sounds unbelievable to a lot of you. There's going to be a lot of the unreal that make their sarcastic comments. That's going to happen more and more as the months go on leading up to my walk. And then once I walk and the world sees what I'm telling you and what's going to happen and the changes to come, the unreal are going to reveal themselves in ways that you haven't imagined yet. You thought that the quarantine was bad and seeing how angry these vaccinated people got towards those who didn't get their shot or didn't want to wear 15 masks while alone in their vehicle. I mean, it's ridiculous. You still see people all around by themselves in a vehicle wearing five masks you know, pretending they're some kind of superhero or something. It's just ridiculous. 
and they're obviously the true believers in following demented and absurd rules and a slave system. They're happy being a slave. So, please go into it. And I want to hear from those who are willing to lay it all on the line, be all in for the kingdom of the heart, because that's what it's going to take. You're going to have to give everything. I'm, I'm giving everything, everything. I'm holding nothing back. Those who don't understand why I'm homeless, this is part of the test as well as part of the bet. I had to render myself homeless. That's the point because I couldn't stay rooted in the wrong kingdom, in a, in a place like a house built of wood from trees that have been chopped down. So that's, that's the point of that. It's not that I couldn't, I know some people here I could stay with, but that's not the point. It's all part of the bet and to see if I can withstand being homeless for the rest, the rest of the duration of what it's going to take to do the whole thing, including the walk. It wants to see me cave. I can tell you that. And then, and then it's done, but I will, I've refused to cave obviously. I, the heart never gives up ever. I will never cave. The consequences of that are horrendous. I've already went into it in this talk. So that's what I'm going to present today. I hope I've clarified some things. I know that some of you will think that, oh, he calmed down. He he lost his passion or whatever. Nope. Absolutely not. I wanted to give everyone a, a sample of the passion that's inside of me. Am I going to speak with that kind of passion again on, on the channel while I still have these tools? Yeah, I probably will. And I know there's many of you You've revealed you you hate it. You can't listen to it. Well, you have no idea the kind of passion that the whole world is going to hear while I'm walking with those who are ready to walk. And if you can't handle it on this channel, what I just did yesterday, there's no way you're going to be walking with me. That's just a fact because... As I said, that was a drop of passion. The amount, the immensity that I have stored in me. It's an inferno. That's what my heart is. I've seeing what's being done to the earth. Yeah, to the animals, to other people. As I said, it's sick that there's one homeless person in this world. That's the wrong vision right there. There's one homeless person. What the hell is wrong with this place? Let alone millions. Millions and millions of homeless and starving to death. And people believe in this shit, in this crap hole. It's unreal. So yeah. Yeah, I I have passion. 
better believe it. So that's what I'm going to bring today. I very much hope I clarified some things. If not, I pay attention as much as I can to the comments. I don't always have a chance to read all of them, but I do my utmost. Take care tonight. Take care. Talk to you again soon.